I have survived over 2,000 days inside of my Minecraft hardcore world without using a single totem of undying. But now it's time for a real challenge. Minecraft skyblock in hardcore, meaning any mistake could lead to the end of my world. However, there is a slight twist as I'm using a data pack called Skyblock Infinite, which creates an infinite void world, which can also spawn some pretty cool structures. For example, down there we do have a ruined portal, which we may need to check out later. However, it's also got settings on how to create a world. All I want to do is just go for classic and classic, and we're going to create a new world and press start. And here we are on my brand new Skyblock Island. Other than the start, there's not much too different. Obviously, we do have other islands in the distance, which we can go to at later points to get more types of wood. But we have to start a Skyblock world, like we do with every world, by punching down a tree and hoping we get a sapling as that's the one essential thing you need for Skyblock. I'd also love to manage to keep all of these logs if possible. Whilst I'm waiting for the saplings to drop, I am quite interested to see what we have in this chest. Ice, lava, obsidian, sea pickle, sugar cane, glowberry. Okay, that's not too bad. At least we can create a cobblestone generator, which is our main... Co oh, did we just lose a sapling? We did. That's not good. I do want to pick up these flowers carefully though, just so we have them. Although they probably won't be too useful, let's be honest. With the wood, I want to craft ourselves up. A crafting table, probably the most essential thing. Let's hope we can get a sapling. We'll punch the grass, just so we can get a couple of seeds. It's a good start. Three already, which is nice. Please drop a sapling. That's one thing we need. We've got a stick. Oh, we missed that apple. That would have been nice to have. Come on, please drop a sapling. The essential thing we need for Skyblock. Oh, there's one right there. Can we pick it up? Okay, we can. Perfect. Next, I do want to start digging down this island just a little bit. What level are we at? We're level 63, that's not too bad. I really don't want to lose any dirt blocks, if possible. There we go. And you know what, we'll take it down an extra layer as well. Just make sure not to fall in the void, because that would not end very well. Especially because we are in hardcore mode. Okay, I do want to place down the sapling straight away though. And you know what, with these first bits of wood, I do want to create a few slabs. Just so we can build around the island a little bit safer. Doing some bottom half slabs so no mobs can spawn on it. Yeah, although we haven't added too many, I think that's a good start. Next, I guess Skyblock becomes a bit of a waiting game as we need to wait for this sapling to grow up. However, we can somewhere build a cobblestone generator. We can use a bit of this dirt we already got. I'll grab the lava and the ice. But honestly, I can't remember how to build a cobblestone generator. It's been a while since I've actually built one. I think we do something like this. And does the water flow down or is it the lava? Hmm. Okay, we can break that block. Now, totally from memory and not from searching on Google, I can place the ice block here with the water flowing. We need the lava block here. Pick up that dirt first, though. It flows in. It should create cobblestone. Okay, it does. Can we craft ourselves up a pickaxe? There we go. And now, hopefully, we should have infinite cobblestone. Oh, it burned. Hopefully now we should have infinite cobblestone. Oh, it burnt again. Hopefully now we should get infinite cobblestone. There we go, we've got our first bit of cobblestone. Okay, I'll be honest, this isn't the most efficient cobblestone generator in the world, as half of it does end up burning. But at least we have an infinite source of cobblestone for now. Hopefully that sapling does hurry up and grow up, though. Now, whilst I'm mining all this stone, I do have three objectives from this video. And it could end up making this hardcore world a potential series. Goal number one is I want to get a tree farm and an infinite source of wood. Goal number two is I want to create a cobblestone farm and an infinite source of cobblestone. And goal number three, I just want to survive. And hey, as this is the start of a potential brand new series on the channel, make sure to subscribe if you want to see it in episode two. Alright, I think with this first bit of cobblestone I did obtain, I want to create a load of slabs and just build around the island in order to have a bit more space. And obviously, as this is one of my first times playing Skyblock, if you have any suggestions of what I could do in this series, let me know in the comments down below. I mean, I guess for now, the only thing I can do, really, is continue mining cobblestone. As it looks like my wooden pickaxe is now about to break, it's worth making a few more sticks so I can craft myself up my first stone pickaxe. And you know what? I'll create a stone axe as well so we can chop down that tree a little bit quicker. And we'll just chuck that wooden pickaxe in there for now and honestly yeah stone tools seem so much faster than wooden tools although the sun is setting or is that the moon that was the moon although the moon is rising it shouldn't matter too much as no mobs should be able to spawn on this island tonight but what i do want to do is just create a few more slabs obviously so there's a bigger area around my feet so i don't accidentally fall in the void 
as that's honestly probably the most embarrassing way to die in Skyblock. And it's hopefully not going to be how I die in this world. And you know what, it's probably worth just trying to pick up as many of these wooden slabs as possible and just replacing them with cobblestone slabs. Okay, maybe I'm caring a bit too much how this Skyblock Island looks already. But hey, these wooden slabs may be useful for something. You know what, with these wooden slabs, I think it's going to be worth making a little bridge in order to start building an area in which I want to have a tree farm. Obviously though, we do need to wait for this sapling to grow. So I decided it'd be worth just mining a load of cobblestone until... Yeah, I'm getting very bored of waiting for this tree to grow. So you know what, I'm just going to pick up this sapling and place a block of dirt here and hopefully it will grow. You know what, I should probably lower it by a block just in case. There we go, and place the sapling down and hope this will now grow. Okay, I've waited here for ages and the sapling for some reason still hasn't grown. This is getting really annoying. So you know what, I'm going to move it again. If I can actually pick it up. That would have ended so bad I didn't even realise. Alright, we'll just place a block of dirt. You know what, we'll go around here for now. Place a sapling in and hope this time of that it will grow. And you know what, another thing whilst I'm waiting, I want to create some more sticks in order to quickly create a stone hoe and use those three seeds we got earlier and plant them down next to the water as I'm already getting a little bit hungry and I could do with a bit of a source of food as I doubt I'm going to be fighting any mobs soon to get any food. After that, I decided to replace the sapling somewhere else in hopes it would grow a bit more. Then I decided to mine some more cobblestone. And finally, we're now on day three. The tree has finally grown. Now all I need to do is chop it down and just hope that I will get an extra sapling for the skyblock journey to completely begin. Now let's really hope. Okay, we did get another sapling, that's good. We can plant that one right here and just hope we can get a couple more. Perfect, there's another one down here which we can obviously replant as well. It also looks like one of my pieces of wheat is fully grown, which is nice. And with all of this cobblestone I collected, I want to make some more slabs and extend the island a little bit further. With the island extended a little bit further, I want to use these dirt blocks here to start planting some more trees. And perfect, it looks like another bit of wheat has grown, which is very good as I'm starting to get very hungry. Also, now that we're on day 3, I have a really bad feeling phantoms will start to spawn, so I need to make sure I have something covering my head at all times during the night as getting knocked off the island by a phantom would not be a fun way to die. Now that it is night time, I think it would be worth building a mob farm to get some basic mob drops. Later on we'll build a proper one, but for now I just need to build 24 blocks away from my island. Now that that's been done, I want to start by placing some more cobblestone around like this. But I'm going to build a wall up around like this in order so the mobs can't actually attack me. We are running out of cobblestone though, which is very annoying. So I guess we'll just extend it like that for now. And hopefully a few mobs will spawn and then we can kill them in the morning. And whilst I'm waiting, it's probably worth making a brand new stone pickaxe. It's now the next day and no mobs have spawned yet, which is probably a good thing as it gives me time to extend this bridge out and extend out the platform. So for that, I want to create some more cobblestone slabs. And just to make sure I don't lose any saplings, I do want to extend out the path just a bit further. Just right underneath these leaves. And I mean, now I guess I can chop down this tree. Now that it's night time again and I've expanded the tree farm a little bit, some mobs have spawned. But what I want to do next is actually craft up a furnace. Grab a couple of my logs, as I want to make some charcoal in order to make some torches. And you know what? I have just had an idea on how to get an infinite supply of charcoal. All I need is three logs, three sticks and one piece of charcoal, then I can craft myself up a campfire. With a campfire, place it down, break it, and I get two bits of charcoal. And also, as it is turning day, it's probably worth trying to take out these mobs. What, what has even spawned? A couple of zombies, a couple of spiders, and what looks like a creeper as well. Or is that two creepers? It's two creepers. Oh, the spiders can get over, can't they? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. There we go. Our first mob has been taken out, though. We should, I should have probably waited until it turned day for these zombies to burn, but oh well. At least we can get some rotten flesh. Don't know what it's used for though. Probably not much. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, that could have ended much worse than I thought. 
pick that rotten flesh up. Just try and get rid of the creepers. Lower them over here at least. Swipe of their feet. Oh, only one left. I think I knocked one in the void then. There we go. Taking the creeper out. Run back on here. And just block the rest up for now. Oh, another tree's grown. Yeah, nice voice crack, Harry. Luckily, I did manage to get three bits of wheat, meaning we can create our first bit of bread and just eat that. So we have a little bit of hunger left. And I should probably chop down this oak tree as well. Next, I do want to craft up some torches in order to light up my island a little bit. So all I should need to do is place a top half slab and place a torch on top. As you probably noticed, I've done this entire video with shaders and I want to know your opinion. Should I continue using shaders in this Skyblock series or should I switch back to the normal Minecraft textures and graphics? Personally though, for a series like Skyblock, I think using shaders would be quite fun to do as I never really use them in a normal vanilla world. Also, if you're wondering, I am using the complimentary Unbound shaders, which I think makes the world look amazing. Anyway, it's now nighttime again and I have extended the tree farm a bit further as well as getting extra hungry and I really hope just more wheat grows so I am able to craft myself up some more bread. But what I have noticed is there is a skeleton over there which is something that's actually going to be very useful. As in Minecraft one of the items a skeleton drops is a bone and with a bone you can create bone meal which is going to be very very important. But honestly I think the best thing to do will be to wait until it's daytime as I don't think me on six and a half hearts will be able to fight off two skeletons and what looks like a zombie as well. Yeah, that skeleton and gold armor is definitely going to be a little bit of a problem. Oh no, I've just noticed another problem. Phantoms have started to spawn. Why wasn't I hiding under here? Yeah, this might not end up going very well. So I'm just going to create as many slabs as possible. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. I did not expect them to be able to attack. Can I just block off as much as possible really quickly? I think I'm safe in here, but... I also somewhat doubt it. Yeah, this is going to be terrifying. I decided it was probably best to just wait out the night so I don't get killed by a phantom or a zombie. And during that time, the skeletons also despawned. Yeah, so it looks like the skeletons have now despawned, which is very annoying. That zombie is burning though, which is good. What's left? A creeper. All right, can I try and take out this creeper? Hopefully. I think just swiping at it shouldn't be too much of a problem. There we go. And I might as well grab this rotten flesh as although it literally is just a rotten piece of meat, I might as well eat it to regenerate a bit of my hunger. All right, luckily now I have healed up just a little bit. I've now spent a bit of time working on some more things in this world as well as moving house. So if any audio sounds a bit weird, that's probably why. But during that time, I've managed to get a few more trees, which means a load more logs, loads of cobblestone, and I've also got two apples, which is definitely worth eating now. So we healed up a little bit more. It has also turned night and it might be worth fighting a skeleton. I don't know. Okay, no. Can they shoot? Okay, yeah, they can definitely shoot. Maybe I'll have to wait until it turns day again. I don't know how long that's going to be, though. Oh, no. Phantoms have started spawning again. I'm literally on two hearts. I'm on half a heart. Yeah, this could end really bad if I'm not careful. And now I'm flooding everywhere. Oh, no. I might just have to hide here for the rest of the night. Yeah, this has gone really wrong. Luckily, the sun has now risen, meaning all the phantoms are starting to die. That also means the mobs over there have started to burn. Okay, it looks like there's a creeper. That's not going to be fun to deal with. Hopefully, I could just... Hopefully, there's a bone. That's all I need. Okay, it doesn't look like it. There's a bit of rotten flesh. Oh, I'm too terrified of doing this. Do we just break, break that? Oh, I can't even reach it. This is not going to end well. Kill the creeper as quick as possible. There we go. Okay, we've got a bit of rotten flesh, so we can hopefully heal more than half a heart. Because... Being on half a heart sucks. Luckily, I am healing up slightly. Hopefully get to at least two and a half hearts. That's for hope. Okay, two hearts. That's a little bit better. Just two and a half, that's all I want. Then I can actually survive somewhat, I guess. I don't think I will. I think I'm stuck on two hearts. Hopefully the trees hurry up and grow so I can try and get some more apples as well. That would be quite useful. You know what, in order to get some more food, it's probably worth, in certain places, just making some more farmland and planting down some more wheat seeds. At least then it somewhat speeds up the production. Alright, I've still not healed, but it looks like another tree has grown, so hopefully that means an extra apple. Because I could really do of healing up just a little bit more. 
Also, as you have probably noticed, there are a few islands off in the different directions. However, I don't plan on going to them yet. I think in the next episode, if this is a series, I will be going to at least one of them in order to get some food and maybe a brand new type of wood. And perfect, I got an apple, which means I can heal up just a little bit more. However, we do now have an infinite source of wood, an infinite source of stone, and we have survived, which means we've completed all three goals for this episode. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe and let me know down in the comments below what I should do next in this hardcore skyblock world.